you guys come out and you know get the job done, do exactly what we want to do. Can you talk about how big it is to now be top of the West and, and have that first round by? Thirty four games uh, is a long long season, you know, and uh, for us to be after thirty four games, um, nine and a half months at the top of the West says everything about the group that I have in that locker room, the quality they have. Um, we did it with different guys as well, um, but we earned it and we deserved it. We started out of the gate strong. We were top of the league, I think, for the first two months. Then we went through a lull because we had a bunch of injuries, and that's when we needed to go to the bench. Um, and those guys stepped up. The bench stepped up. They got the job done. We got enough points to hang in, and then. At the end, when we got you know healthy or healthier, we're still not 100% healthy, but uh, our form in, in playing the football the way that, that we want to play came back, and you, you see it. You know, at home, the last six games, I think we were six and zero, and in every one of those games, we played, um, you know, with a really attack-oriented style and, and had the ball and pressed and you know created very good goals, and that's the way we want to play. And, and when we do that. Um, we're a tough team to beat, but I'm real proud of the guys after 34 games to uh, earn uh, the number one seed. Doesn't ensure anything, um, but after 34 games, that's a that's a real good accomplishment. That's the first season. That's done. Now the second season's up, and we got five games to win a cup. We're going to take them one at a time, and you'll see just as hungry a group. Trust me. Caleb, talk about the importance of the response after they scored. I mean. Obviously, with the way they play, you don't want to be behind and avoid the half to try to break down with them sitting in. But just talk about getting that off that corner kick the way you did. Yeah, I mean, obviously, first thing I thought about after this win was the playoffs, and I'm already thinking about that, you know, so I've moved on already. But, you know, it is important to because you spend so much time for nine and a half months fighting for uh, a place in the playoffs and a place in the playoffs of strength. With, with the top seed that you do need to kind of sit back and you know reflect for an hour or so after nine and a half months of hard work um, but but you know my mind's already on the playoffs and trying to win the next game and setting up the the second leg here you know because we know we'll be on you know on the road um, but uh, you know disappointing you know my point is is that I'm already thinking about mistakes and things I want to correct and you know, disappointment was to obviously give up the goal on Boston. There's no mystery that that's how they win a lot of games, and we worked on it all week. And you know, it comes down to an ind individual matchup. He's the toughest guy to, I think, in the league to handle in an individual matchup. But uh, he made a good play there. Credit to him. What I liked about my group is they gave us their best punch, and we didn't flinch. We came right back and um, leveled it. And you know, at the start of the second half, you saw how badly we wanted to win this game. And I thought our best period of play was the first 10 minutes of the second half. I mean, I uh, would have liked to see us score the third goal. Obviously, we had plenty of chances, good chances to do that. That would have made it much easier. And, you know, that's those are a couple things that we need to address moving into the playoffs. You guys are now 8-3-2 over the course of your last 13, going back to July and back to that 2-1 win at Vancouver. Uh, there's not been a lot of talk uh, about you guys uh, around sort of the, on, on the national level. Do you think it's time that people wake up uh, to, to what your team's been doing and, and to what they've been doing now over the course of the last few months? I don't care. I don't care if people talk about us. I don't. I really don't care. I, mean, I might have cared my first year. I really, you know, do my job. Uh, I, I care about my guys. I, I, I don't. I don't sometimes know how people don't see some of the things I'm seeing, but it doesn't matter to me. Uh, I see it, they see it, and uh, we'll just keep going about our business. You know, we don't care if, you know, websites talk about us or rate us. And, you know, we're a good team. We know that. We've proved that over 34 games. And we've proved that with a lot of different guys in the lineup. And, and I think we're playing some of the best, best football I see in this league, you know, all around, you know, in terms of how we play the game and some of the little combinations that we create in the passing sequences. But, you know, ultimately it doesn't matter. You know, we know also after 34 games, no one, you know, 10 years from now remembers who was first in the West. You know, so we get that. Um, but, I, but I do want to acknowledge that accomplishment because that's, that's, that's quite an accomplishment, you know, to, to be the team standing at the end of a tough 34-game season. But uh, we'll be defined on the next five games, starting with the first game and the second game, the series. 
uh, Caleb, uh, aside from the starting 11, is there anything that Vancouver did today that surprised you? Or was it pretty much par for the course from them? Well, I think the way they played was par for the course. Um, you know, I think one of the things I respect about Vancouver and, and Carl is uh, he gets his guys doing certain things and they do it well. And it's, you know, it's three things and we worked on them all week and that's the counterattack, that's, um, you know, crosses and set pieces. And then they're a tough team to break down, you know, and our preparation was 80% on how we can break them down and it wasn't easy, but, you know, we found one goal from the run of play and one goal that we manu manufactured off a set piece. Um, but we knew that would be important. The other things were going to be stopping the counter, uh, which I thought we were excellent. Uh, I didn't think they had very many counterattacks. Uh, stopping crosses, which I thought we dealt with well, especially late. And then stopping set pieces, which we failed on in the one moment. Uh, other than that, I thought we, the game was similar to what we thought it would be. I thought we executed uh, very well. Um, and I thought, honestly, a little bit more luck up from their end at the end, and they get a draw. And, you know, this whole these are the fine lines. But uh, I'd say the only surprise was Zabini, you know, as a center striker. I think it's the first time they've done that all year. Uh, coach, a record season for him, obviously. And now uh, we'll find out tomorrow with league MVP. In your opinion, why is Diego Valeri the league's MVP? Well, I think he's the best player in the league this season, over 34 games. Um, and I think when you also factor in the, you know, Adi, Fernando Adi has been out 10 games for us. Um, he's had to carry a lot of the load, you know, him and Blanco in particular. Um, but uh, he scored in nine straight games, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And he did that in a time where we needed him to step up because we had a lot of injuries. and. You know, in a lot of ways, that period uh, put us in this position that we're in and, uh, you know, might have saved the season because we had a lot of adversity, a lot of injuries. And for me, I, I, I credit the entire team, the depth. But, uh, he, listen, he's the one on the score sheet scoring a lot of those goals. And if we don't get those goals, we don't get points. And, and then we're on the outside looking in. We always know at the end of the year when we get healthy, our form's going to come. But, um, you know, what he meant, means for our team, or meant to our team uh, over the regular season and, and just the quality and his production. I mean, I, I don't know that I even need to sell him. I mean, look at the production, look at the goals, and, and then look at we're the f best team in the West. So, you know, he's, he's the guy that scored 20, 20 goals and 11 assists on the best team in the West. When you look back on the run that you had two years ago, it was obviously a very different route to get into the playoffs. What did you learn? What's the same? What's different this time around? I think the big difference is this team hasn't been as much kind of under the radar. You know, we started really well, and, and you, you saw right off the bat the type of team that we had. Um, I think the reason that, you know, we, we've flown a little bit on the radar is we had, you know, a couple-month run where, you know, we had to figure out how to win games with a lot of different guys. And, you know, I've always said you have to do that. You have to adapt. And, you know, the, the quality in the football in some of those games wasn't – uh, what it was to start the year when we had everybody healthy. Um, but you can't say that about the last uh, period of play mm -hmm. because the quality of football has been there now. Back to really what it was to start the year. So I think that's a big difference. We've been above the red line all season long, never once below the red line. And we've been, you know, near the top at the, at the start and at the end. And uh, obviously that year we had to win our last three games to, to even get in. So I think that's the big difference. This team plays a lot different too. That team was much more of a counterattacking team and we had some different personnel. And this team is definitely more of a team that wants to score goal. I mean, lead the West in scoring. And we, we like to go at teams in different ways than that team. We like to have the ball in the front half. We keep the ball a bit better than that team. Those are some of the differences. Let's go last one. When you've had some good runs of form in your time in Portland, I mean, you think about 2013 into the spring and summer. Uh, people forget, but 2014, toward the end of the season, 2015, of course, for the MLS Cup. You know, setting aside the results of, of, of those runs, uh, how do you think this recent run of form in the last few months sort of ranks among those uh, since you've been here? Well, I think when you look at the home, the home games in particular, six games and six wins, and pretty convincing. Not always result, but convincing in a lot of ways um, in terms of how we, how we attack. You know, and the threat that we have 
Um, I'd like to see a, a 90 minutes. Um, you saw for 10 minutes when we want to just turn it up. Um, it's unstoppable. We scored right off the bat. The guys wanted to score. We wanted to win. You know, but but I want to see that cloned a little bit more over the course of a game. Um, that killer instinct. Uh, but we're we're closing out games a lot better, and and we're scoring goals, and you know we're giving up a few still, but not as much. I think we're much tighter. Um, so I don't know how it compares, but I think. In my five years, we're playing as good a football as any team we've had here. Thanks, everyone.